Hey, welcome to Tile Coach. I'm Isaac Ostrom. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. Today, uh, we're gonna compare two saws. So we got super old school saw against probably the most popular saw in the market today, which is the DeWalt. So uh, just for fun, I wanted to compare the two. This, this target probably hasn't been off the rack in a couple years. Uh, I just don't use it. For one thing, I'm not in the field a lot. And if I do, I usually just grab one of the guy's saws real quick. Uh, but this saw, this, I bought this saw back in 2005, I think. So this was like one of my first big purchases. I still remember, I, I, I thought about it for like two weeks before I actually bought the saw. I was like, you know, should I buy it or should I not? But at the time, like this is the Target XL, so it will rip a uh, 25 inch. And at the time, it was 18 inch diagonal was like that was like what we did on everything 18 inch diagonal that was all the rage back then <laughs> now, now you never see it but so that was like 2004 i bought it from quarter passy tile and stone in sacramento gotta say what's up to the guys at quarter passy still love the guys at quarter passy we still buy things there all the time so um, that's where i picked up the saw yeah if you're in sac and you need a tile saw uh check out quarter passy good crew down there um, so anyways, so I've had this saw, this actually, this saw is the saw that broke my finger and um, basically amputated the tip of my finger. So if you want to see that, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to that video. Um, I don't promote that video because YouTube demonetized it <laughs> because it, it has blood in it or something. But if you want to check it out, check it out in the description. So this saw is super heavy. It's kind of hard to put up and move out of the truck and everything, but it's a great saw. So I wanted to put it against the DeWalt and uh, my guys, Kirk, Steve, they love the DeWalts. Uh, but you know, when they first came out, they just seemed kind of chintzy to me, like all the plastic parts and things. And I just, I didn't even know how to put the stupid thing together. I was like, get on side and like, it's got all these trays and everything. Um, but we're gonna see what they do head to head. So what we're gonna do we're gonna take uh, porcelain tiles, 24 inch porcelain tiles, and we're gonna rip, we're gonna do like a one inch rip on them. And what we're gonna test for is speed, how fast each saw cuts. We're gonna test accuracy, uh, see how much the blade drifts on it. And uh, anything else we need to test? Square. Square, yeah, we'll just see. So, I don't know man, I, I, I might be a little out of practice, so bear with me on this. But I think the target's gonna win. Just keep your fingers, <laughs> just keep your fingers out of the way of the blade. You guys probably have never seen this saw just because old school, you old school tile setters. I know you've used one and you might still have one, but uh, doesn't have any chop action, just a fixed motor, uh, belt driven. And then it, it has this tray on uh, with the wheels. These, these little wheels are right on these two rails. And yeah, you can see how much I've used it. It's, it has cobwebs all over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so that, that's how this saw works. Um, just rides on there. Uh, the DeWalt, you guys probably all know the DeWalt, but... Um, it's the same, pretty much the same concept. Same. But, uh, it's yeah. got a fixed track here. And made in China. <laughs> Hold on, you gotta wait till mine gets water going. Oh right, boys, one, two, three, go! Okay, so, so we got our cuts, but now we're gonna test for accuracy. So we're gonna break it in half and then compare the two ends and that'll tell us if it's cutting exactly straight. So here we go. Okay, I got my two ends. I'm probably 64th. Oh, you're 64th? Yours good, Isaac? Oh, mine is, oh, they're about the same. Pretty huh? damn close. I'd say, yeah, we're the same. 64th. Not bad, old timer. Hold, hold, hold it up next to mine, Steve. No, mine's, mine, mine. Whatever. Mine. So you're gonna get rid of the DeWalt, go 
No, they're no. the same. <laughs> they're the same. They're the same. What about the, the blank cut? Wow, there you have it. So we'll, that was like a photo finish. I don't know if we're going to be able to go in slow-mo or what. But I think that was a draw. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it was. So my, you had I, think joke my, up, man. I was, I was up. beating and then I pushed a little too hard and the, and the, you you the, you the, belt, the belt spun. So I'm... But it was it was close anyways, that and then funny. then accuracy they both were within like a 64th, yeah. so um, kind of cool that the old target is still kicking and still Keep doing good, around. you know, still uh, matching up with with the young guys. I guess that's a good metaphor that uh, you know us us older dudes can hang with the younger ones, right, Kurt? Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, fun video. Um, either saw works good. To be honest, the Dewalt's a lot lighter. Um, Just easier to move, move in. You can see how much. Yeah. yeah. So here's our so overspray from the target. The target's kind of messy. What I usually do is drape a piece of old pan liner into a bucket, or, or a piece of Dietrich heat. Well, <laughs> I used to roll tar yeah. paper. Okay. So fun video, guys. Thanks for being with me. If you like this video, make sure to check the next video coming up. You'll like that one as well. And last but not least, guys, I love you. I love being your tile coach, and we'll see you on the next video.